So this is the second part looking at um, special angles, if you like. And this time we're going to concentrate on a 45 degree and exact 45 degree angles. So I'm going to make a right angle triangle here and it's a right angle triangle where each angle is 45. So basically, if this angle is 45, this angle is 45 up here, then these two sides are the same. Now I can call this side anything I like. I'm just going to call this side 6 and 6. Now I can work out the hypotenuse by doing Pythagoras. So that's just 6 squared, add 6 squared, square rooted, which is 36, add 36. Or if you like, two lots of 36, which is handy because I'm going to use my radical simplification notation and have that as 6 root 2. So all these, these angles that I'm going to use for 45, similar to the 30 and the 60, I'm going to keep as exact numbers. So now I've got this as 6 root 2, I'm going to think about my sine 45. So I can go to either 45 angle and look at the side opposite the 45. So let's take this one, it's 6. I divide it by the hypotenuse, which is 6 root 2, and that simplifies to 1 over root 2. Uh, and you will often see this, and you should see this written as root 2 divided by 2, which is the same thing. Well, cosine, guess what? It's exactly the same, because cosine 45, it's not using the opposite, it's using the adjacent, but we have the 6 over root 2, so this is also root 2 over 2. And let's look at the tan 45. So tan is opposite divided by adjacent, so we can go to either 45. Opposite is 6, adjacent is 6. 6 over 6 is 1. So we've built up these three simple 45 degree ratios. So sine 45, root 2 over 2. Cosine 45, root 2 over 2. Tan 45, 1.